Flat Earth is dead. You're probably thinking, Adam, what are you talking about? Let me show you. Now, this is what I mean when I say the Flat Earth is dead. The propaganda version. Like we see on our screen here. The version that very few people believed in the first place. Some were foolish enough to cling on to stuff like this. Straw man maps, models, misrepresentations, crazy crossover fantasy worlds and misrepresentations. Like I said, you type this into Google, this is what you get. And yet no one on this earth believes this tosh. A lot of cases you've got this disc or this pancake hovering in some heliocentric vacuum, mixing delusions. Painting a picture, which is a misrepresentation, blending two silly delusions together and hoping that people buy into it or blindly defend it. You know, say a few might have bought into this silliness in the early days, but of course, the flat earth is simply demonstrable science that can be tested and verified by all. That's it. No one can refute that. Which is why Google has to misrepresent the simplistic truth of this place. And this is another thing. Online globe representatives have to misrepresent you by linking you to this silly cartoon here. To justify their own delusions. And of course, cover up for the fact, in their deluded minds, that they've got no science. So they have to lie, misrepresent, provide no science... And ultimately, they're left with defending space pantomime. That's all the globe believers can do, is lie and misrepresent people like myself by attaching silliness like on our screen to myself. But it's ultimately people like myself who've killed this propaganda misrepresentation that we see on our screen. If you want maps, models, full exploration all the way, well, like I say, this flat earth propaganda version, mainstream representation, has been killed. It's dead. No one believes it. And the people that cite it or attach it to people like myself are only exposing themselves as liars. It's only getting worse and worse for the globe and the people that defend it or believe it. It's just getting more and more desperate, more and more dishonest. And the tactics are becoming more and more obvious. Which is why online globe representatives stroke defenders, rather than cite demonstrable scientific demonstrations that can be tested and verified by all, have to defend space pantomime failures like on our screen. And of course lie and misrepresent by presenting the propaganda version of the flat earth and attaching it to people who stand by real-world demonstrable science like myself. Which is why I, along with many others, helped kill the propaganda version of the Flat Earth. And of course, as a result, the Globies are left with defending silliness like on our screen, and just continuing to dig a deeper and bigger hole for themselves as they lie and misrepresent and continue to do so and cash in doing so it's really not looking good for these people and that of course is why characters like buzz before he passes away is trying to get rid of any inner demons by telling the truth about his part in the silly pantomime that we know as space i'll let buzz aldrin moon landing legend finish off the video by breaking the hearts of minds of moon landing believers by simply telling you it didn't happen. Oh, uh, what was the scariest moment of the journey? Scariest? It didn't happen. It could have been scary. Would have been terrifying, Buzz. But like you say, it didn't happen. Trust me, fella, we know. We've seen the airfix models, the silly space pantomime performance cited as the moon landing. And of course, we've seen many of your little messages as you've got older there, highlighting how absurd the moon landing is. And of course, the old footage, when we review it, is terrible. 
just like globe evidence and globe believers having to lie, misrepresent people. So much so that it was people like myself who had ultimately had to kill the flat earth propaganda version and in doing so expose the globies and their misrepresentations and their lies and their propaganda even more. Time's running out, people. Globe's impossible. This wouldn't even have been an argument online if there was demonstrable science. There isn't. It's only space pantomime and fantasies about observations in the sky. If you're talking about the shape of the Earth, you deal with the Earth. You don't look in the opposite direction. That's insane. Have a good one, everyone.